Visco. Hi everyone, welcome to Visco. Today I'm going to show you how to create an access control and time attendance by using Height Central Access Control. So this is the Height Central Access Control web client. This is the home page. So to create the access control and time attendance, there are a few steps. So the first one is adding the device. Click on the device, device and servers, select access control device. To add the device, there are two options. The first one you can select by using the online device here. By simply click the device and click add to device list. Or you can add the device manually by clicking this add button here. Select access control protocol. Adding mode by using IP address. Enter IP address. Device name. Device username and password. Select device time zone. Resource information. You can click here to add all resource to area or you can select specific resource and area. Click add to add the device. It will take a moment. After a few seconds, you have successfully added the device into the self software. Next step is to add the person. Click person. Under person management, select person. You can modify the company name. Click save. Under company, you can create another department by click the add button here. For example, technical department. Click add. Under technical department, we need to create a person. So click add button here to add a person. You can modify the person ID. Enter person name. Effective period, you can drag it longer, longer than 2033. Allow login to self service. You can anti if need if not use this. For person credential, you can add by using this part. For face, you can select face from device, select access control device, select the device, and click capture. And you can scan your face to your device. Other option is to capture by using your PC or laptop webcam, or even to upload the picture into your PC or laptop. Other credential you need to click credential management. You can create card and fingerprint. For card, even though your customer is not using any card, you still need to key in a card manually. Click add. Just type in the card number manually. The first number is not start with zero. It's either number one to number nine. For example. Then we have successfully add a card to the person. The next one is to add a fingerprint. To add a fingerprint, you need to configure where you want to add a fingerprint. Either using USB fingerprint recorder, fingerprint and card reader, or enrollment station. To collect the fingerprint data by using the device, you need to select fingerprint and card reader, device type access control device, and select the device. Click save, then click add button here. So now you can collect your fingerprint data by tapping your fingerprint on your device. Once you have done, click save and click add to add the person. Now you have successfully add a person into technical department. The next step is to create an access level. Go to manage access level, add an access level. Put a description if needed, access point, or resource or selected door. For this one, I need select the terminal or device. Make sure there are device door here. Select the template, either all day template, weekend or work day, or you can create your own template. Click add to add the access level. Now you already got Visco access level. The next step is to assign the access level to person. You can assign by access level 
by select the access level and assign to to assign the access level to person or you can assign by person by select a person and assign access level you can also assign by department or access group now you have already assigned the access level the person access level to the software and also to the device next step is to create the attendance settings go to attendance under attendance rule you can select global rule or department rule go to global rule go to weekend setting select your weekend go to overtime you can select your overtime preference either work overtime on work day overtime on holidays or overtime not in valid attendance check period you can enable if you want to use the overtime settings go to attendance calculation you can calculate by using first in last out or each check in check out for this one i'm using first in last out you can tick enable time and attendance status on device if you need the status day change time you can set to your preference time for this one i'm using uh, 12 am check-in required you can set no check-in mark as absent or late and no check out mark as absent on early leave you can tick absent if check-in late you can set the late time allowed and also absent if check out early you can set the early time limit then authentication mode if you disable it will use the device authentication mode or you can also customize the authentication mode by tick this following authenticate mode click save to apply the global rule next we need to set the shift under shift you need to set the break timetable timetable and shift go to break timetable add a break timetable if you need to set a break break start time earliest allowable start time end time latest allowable end time break duration calculation mode either period or must check break duration one hour click add to create a visco break next one to create the timetable for timetable there are two options either using the normal timetable or flexible timetable if your customer already got a working schedule which is starting from 9 am to 6 pm you can use a normal timetable but if your customer is using flexible timetable which means it doesn't matter you enter at uh, what time but as long as you complete 8 hours working hours then you complete the working days then you can select this flexible uh, flexible timetable for this one i'm using the normal timetable so click the normal timetable you can rename it just go full day type normal shift start work time 9 am to 6 pm valid check-in period valid check-out period and minimum working hours you can set the break period overtime and attendant calculation click save to save the timetable another one i'm going to create the visco half day start work time and work time will check in period will check out period minimum work days click add now we got full day and half day next we need to create a shift click add to add shift enter shift name repeat mode every week one repeat every one week shift type normal shift and then we need to create a shift schedule here so select the visco full day 
Full day will be from Monday to Friday and Saturday is half day. Once you set the timetable, click add to add the shift. Now we already got this code shift. Next step, you need to apply this shift to person. Go to schedule, person schedule, select a person, add schedule, select effective period, shift, visco shift, and then save to apply the schedule. Now we already apply the timetable and shift schedule to the person. You can also apply the schedule by person or by departments. Now we already done the timetable settings. Now that you have done the access control and time attendance settings, you can generate the attendance record. To generate the attendance record, you need to calculate your attendance record. Go to attendance calculation, manual calculation or auto calculation. Go to manual calculation, select the time period, first day of the month to the last day of the month. You can select target person, either all person or specify a person. Click save to calculate. Once it's successful, you can get the attendance report either from the attendance record or the daily report. You also got few options like weekly report, monthly report, summary report and you can also custom your report. For custom report, you can select which column that you need to show in your report. So that is how you set access control and time attendance by using Hide Central Access Control. Thank you everyone.